Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Ezra Automation Channel. Today in this session, we're going to start a new series on PyTest framework. So far we have seen about uh, TestNG and then we have seen Cucumber, then Rest Assured and uh, related frameworks. So we will see a uh, PyTest, a new framework in this entire session and series. So we'll get started and we will be uh, breaking down this uh, bits and pieces so that you will easily understand which concept you are familiar you can ignore which concept you are new you can learn and implement so let's get started so we have to know what is a pytest and uh, pytest is a testing framework and it allows you to write a code in the python coding language and this framework can be used to, to uh, automate database api test and uh, ui ui in the sense web and it is very easy to start and uh, simple syntaxes are being used because Python itself is easy and using this PyTest you will easily implement. And if you know about Java with Selenium version and you can easily, easily implement this PyTest framework. And the tests are, uh, we can run the tests in parallel as well, like every framework offers like TestNG and the Cucumber offers, right? So in a similar way we have this. And uh, the one advantage in this uh, PyTest we have is uh, we can run a specific test or a subset of test like how you have a testng uh, class file right so where you have testng.xml where you will uh, mention that include exclude which method to be include which method to be exclude in the similar way you can do the same thing but we can use the less uh, lines of code to do this and this pytest will automatically detect the test files and automatically triggers the test and we, it has an ability to skip the test cases and it is an more of an open source where you can use it and also contribute towards it. So this is the importance of PyTest framework. Now uh, you need to open a command prompt. So in case if you are on uh, Windows, you can use this command prompt or in case if you are on a different uh, operating system, you need to open terminal in that and uh, here before uh, you go into the uh, terminal you have to ensure that python is installed in your system or not if the python is installed then you have to just verify python is correctly configured or not in the environment variables just type uh, where python so in case if python is already available this where python will show that python is into the specific location and if you find that add that path to the environment variables so when the path is set up then you just need to type python then it will show you the version number and it will show you the the compiler itself and it is done so in case if it is not available then you go to the any website and type uh, python download then you have this website called uh, python.org where you can go to the download page and you can download this file and while installing you just need to check the path add path to the environment variable so that it will automatically set the path into the environment variable and you can use it right away right now again let me open a new terminal here right so first and foremost thing we have to install the pytest so we have a python we need to install a pytest so how we're gonna install it so to install that you have to use pip install pytest so this is a package and if you wanted to use any specific versions you can just uh, use this double equals and version number so in my case i don't want to any version whichever version is available i want that version into my system just hit enter and it is already installed in my system in case if it is not installed your system it will install it is saying that already satisfied so it means that it is already installed into my system and next thing you have to do is once the python is pytest Py is installed you have to see whether it's working or not just type uh, py.test and hyphen h so this is like a help command so when you see this all logs so you will see all logs related to that help so if this are displaying then it is it means that you have successfully configured the pytest and python with pytest so this is a one one part now what you have to do is you have to create a folder anywhere into your system and just run each and every program so i in my case i have already created a folder just to reduce the time so this has three different files here so test demo one test demo two three and what we have in test demo so just open with the notepad then you will see that there are 
uh, I'm using an import statement so pytest import then you have a definition definition in the sense it's a one of the method so in that method I am using a, a two variables like two methods sorry two variables called x and y which holding value and i'm doing an assertion for that so if an x plus y is equal to 3 then test case pass if x equal to y test is failed similar to that i have created uh, another method in the same file so this is a simple code right now just close it and uh, e copy this location so we have to copy this location and uh, we have to navigate to this location so cd space and the location of that file right so i'm into this location now so once we are into this location we, the easiest way is just type pi.test so we have uh, different files here so i have created three files with the same kind of set but uh, I have just named it in a different names but you can just see that it has executed all the methods available into each and every test case so if I wanted to keep this as specific to whatever test case I wanted to run so in that case I just need to run pi.test then uh, test underscore demo so this will run only that particular file so where in the before command it is automatically detecting all the test and it is running so in the second phase i'm just explicitly providing which kind of test that it, it needs to be executed so it has triggered that test underscore demo and it has executed and it has showed the results so this is the way that we can simply run our test and uh, run in the command line right it is easier right so we have did about introduction we have did about installation we have a code and uh, then after we have executed via command line parameters and this is simple right so when compared to other automations it is easier there is one um, hint i can provide in this session is uh, whenever a test is passed you will see a dot a dot with a green so here it says it has executed this file but in the adjacent to it it has provided ff so it's a failure and in case if any test case is getting passed it will say as a dot just a dot so i will show you that as well so go to this file and notepad with notepad so this line is in this to comment this you have to add a asterisk there okay and i will again rerun it I think it is not considering asterisk. I think it's considered, but it still says one pass, one failure. Okay, in the second method, it is failing, but first method is passed. You can see there's a dot there. Second method is failed and followed by F. So if the both are passed, then you will see a dot there, dot with the green. And here in the results also, you will see how many pass, failed, skips, and you will see the time that taken to execute that. I hope this session is helpful for you. In case if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. If the session is helpful for you, do post a like and share with a colleague. Thank you for watching.